My old mother must have been very beautiful. Collie's Velaryon and Rainy's Targaryen had a strong and loving relationship, supporting each other through challenges. However, Corley's past infidelities resurface when Rhaenys recognizes Alin, a familiar face among his crew. Alin, introduced in the season 2 premiere, fought alongside Corley's in the war for the Stepstones and saved his life. Despite Corley's unfamiliarity with Alin, their encounters hint at a deeper connection. Rhaenys' acknowledgement of Alin's parentage deviates from George R. R. Martin's fire blood. The younger and more conceited brother in the book is Alin. He attempted to claim the untamed dragon sheepstealer, but the dragon beheaded him, leaving him with burns and scars. When Alin was only 15 years old, he found his talents better put to use by taking leadership of the Valerian fleet. Even after the Lord of Driftmark betrayed Corlys by defecting to the Greens, he remained humbly loyal to him. Appointed Lord of the Tides upon Corlys's death, Alin received the title in due course. To save Byla Targaryen from an arranged marriage, he would secretly wed her. He would then develop a reputation as a fierce fighter by fighting against the Bravosi in the Daughter's War. But before his heyday, there was a tangled web of controversy that House of the Dragon is gradually revealing. In the fourth episode of Season 2, the Red Dragon and the Gold Rainies meets Alin, who is visibly uneasy in her company, when she summons her husband. After examining his features, she realizes he is the son of Corlys and later confirms with her husband that she knows who he is. Instead of confronting her adulterous husband with anger over their child, she proposes that Corlys legalize Alin as his own. A welcome change in Westeros is Rhaenys's gradual response to her husband's illegitimate offspring. The return of Jon Snow as Ned Stark's illegitimate son tarnished Catelyn Stark's perception of him as an upright man in Game of Thrones. Despite her vow to the gods that she would treat Jon like a Stark if he survived a fatal illness, Catelyn abused him horribly for the remainder of his life. 200 years ago, Rhaenys is either trying to keep her betrayal feelings hidden or she thinks Alin and Adam are deserving of better than to be untruthful. Rhaenys may be tolerant of her husband's illegitimate sons for some other reason. It is possible that Corlys was the biological father of the brothers prior to his marriage to Rhaenys. Alin and Adam are rather close in age and Lenor and Lena are not too far apart either. Rhaenys doesn't care if Alin and Adam were born during Corlys's single years, it's a logical assumption. Corlys feels an immense burden for Rhaenys' request in the wake of her tragic death at Rook's Rest. Now the real question is if Alin and Adam are even capable of riding dragons. The Hull brothers will play a significant role in the upcoming Dragon Seed plot in Season 2. Adam builds a bond with Seasmoke in the novel, and Seasmoke has already taken a distant liking to her. Anyone claiming a dragon as their own must have a trace amount of Valyrian blood, as is stated clearly in the general requirements for being a dragon seed. Just because Ulf White claims to be a pure-blooded Targaryen doesn't mean they have to be. An Andal house that had a distant relative marry into the Targaryen line might be the source of dragon seeds. Alin and Adam are as much a dragon seed as any silver-haired person, because the Targaryens and the Valarians have combined houses multiple times prior to Aegon's conquest. But that doesn't mean Alin is a dragon rider by default. Even among Targaryens, some dragons go unclaimed. In the show, Alin serves as the eldest son and older brother of Corlys, and his role is to be at sea. He is standing before Corlys, who is currently searching for a suitable successor. During the war for the Stepstones, Alin bravely fought, put his life on the line to ensure Corlys' survival and gained invaluable maritime experience. Even though he brings up memories of a possibly infidelity in Corley's past, he is currently the ideal remedy for her dilemma. There is no connection between the book's familiar name, Alin, and the witch queen of Harrenhal, Aliz Rivers. They're two distinct individuals who are cruelly tormenting those in their vicinity, yet they have no connection whatsoever. In Alin's case, though, he has no such intention. Alin, the character from Fireblood, was a small town man who was brought up in a shipyard by his mother, Marilda, and his brother Adam. Who exactly is the biological father of Alin and Adam? Different people have different theories. Even if Lenor Varian's sexuality may have rendered him unable to be the biological father of the boys, Marilda insisted that. He was their biological father. According to Mushroom, a court idiot, Corlys Valerian was the father of the guys. 
The portrayal of Alin in Fire Blood is not totally trustworthy given the text's general unreliability. Identifying one's biological father is a daunting task for everyone. No one could speak for Lenor since he was dead, and Corlys would have kept quiet so as not to upset Rhaenys. Still, Corlys felt sorry for the lads. He pleaded with Rhaenyra to recognize them as trueborn Valerians, so that Adam could be declared Driftmark's heir.